Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is powersellerresearch.com. Again, that's powersellerresearch.com. It's a story about Marilyn Manson. You've heard about Marilyn Manson recently. It's been in the news. Certainly not for making a new album. <laughs> but uh, here it is, rocker Marilyn Manson blames the breakdown of his marriage to Dina Von Teese on the burlesque dancer's insistence on trying to change him, leaving him with, quote, no soul. Manson, who is now dating 19-year-old Rachel Evan Wood, who he describes as nothing less than a muse, <laughs> uh, and um, Von Teese is, uh, wait a minute, oh, the singer, oh, it's the singer and Von Teese, they split in December, I see what it says, all right, it's an awkward sentence, badly written, but what are you going to do? Says here, Manson claims he had to end the marriage because it was destroying him. He tells Spin Magazine, oh, this is about Dita Von Teese. She said that she tolerated my lifestyle because she hoped I would change and threatened to leave if I didn't. He said, I was sleeping on the couch in my own home. I was no longer supposed to be a rock star. I was someone who had to be apologized for. I wasn't prepared to be alone. I came out of this naked. A featherless bird. I was completely destroyed. I had no soul left. When times we heard stories like that on this program. By the way, that line about uh, him no longer supposed to be a rock star, he was someone who had to be apologized for. I'm not a rock star, but I am a public figure, and I am a radio personality, and uh, I've been in that situation. I've been in relationships with women who were apologizing for me, apologizing for my radio show, apologizing for my personality. You know, if you have to apologize for me, it's time to go. Time to leave. Really, it is. Uh, it, to me, that says more about the woman than it says about the man. When the woman is, uh, oh, <laughs> don't mind him, him and his disgusting show, and uh, him and his, uh, you know, the way he is, you know how he is. You know, misogynist and all that. And it's just the way he is. If, if you're going to start talking about me that way, I, I, what does that say about you that you don't just simply leave? Why do you tolerate it if it's that awful? Makes no sense. So Marilyn Manson, who sounds pretty outrageous when he's making a record, reality is this guy's a little pussy. And he was terrorized by his girl, who said that he was completely destroyed, that he had no soul left when it was all over. Now, I'm wondering if you have been in this position. By the way, I'm not going to lie to you. Of course I've been in this position. Yes, I have. I've been with women uh, earlier on in my life who were so attractive that I was so, uh, in my mind, I was so lucky to be with them. I pretty much did whatever they said. I pretty much went wherever they wanted me to go. I pretty much changed anything about me that offended them. Then they lost all respect for me, and then they started stomping all over me. <laughs> I mean stomping all over me.
So? I learned a long time ago. I don't give a crap what these women think. They don't like me. I tell them they should go. It's that simple. Get out. No compromises here. None. None, none, none. Marilyn Manson is not a young boy. He's been around a while. He should have known better than this. But I'm wondering if you're in a relationship like that, or if you've been in one recently, where you felt like your soul was destroyed, where you felt like your your very inner being was just laid bare. Are you with somebody like that right now, who has just simply destroyed you? Destroyed your will to go on? Destroyed your soul? Destroyed your individuality? I know this show has lots of guys like that out there. Many of them are in their cars by themselves on the way home from work. Maybe this is the only place you can make that phone call from is the car on the way home. I'm wondering, I want to talk to guys like that. You're in a relationship where somebody has destroyed your soul. Is that you? Tell me. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. Tell these people they're freaks, but you know what? That's one of the reasons I listen, because they're absolutely hysterical. They want to hear all the freaks. Exactly. And nobody has more freaks listening than Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you with someone who has destroyed your soul? Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How we doing? Doing great, son. Yeah, I just want to let all the guys know that uh, once that stuff starts happening, once you suspect the... The earliest sign that she's ruining your confidence, man, get out. I mean, I wouldn't even... Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com. Being there in the first place. Tom, I wish I would have listened to you when I was about uh, 23, 22 years old. I uh, started dating this girl. She was uh, from another country. And uh, <clears throat> we got involved for a little while. And then um, the immigration service said that, well, you know, she'll have to... Uh, go back home so at that point we were we were somewhat ready to get married or at least i believe we were and so you know i basically did a, a favor and uh got married and um then we were married for maybe about uh two and a half years uh she starts coming home at 3 a.m uh she's never home on her day off all this good stuff i catch her in a uh, little lies and uh, then I find out she was uh, banging around for, you know, maybe three or four months. And she was probably... I can't uh, believe you did uh, know that already. I mean, um, <laughs> if you're married to somebody and they don't come home till four in the morning... Uh, you know, you know... What more do you need to know? She was, she was giving me these horrible, pathetic, like, lies. And, and tell you the truth, man, I, I, I couldn't really do anything based on a, on an assumption, you know what I mean? Well, you could just say, I'm not going to live with someone who comes home at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you're right, you're right. And at the, at the time, sir, I, I was not even listening to you. And I wish I would have been. I just started listening to you, Tom, like maybe, maybe I think after everything happened, which was around in like, uh, say, April of this year. And uh, a couple of my friends turned me on to you, and it's like, You've been a lifesaver ever since. I mean, now I'm single, I'm loving it, I'm having a good time, but, you know, I'm just letting everybody know that, 
Don't get involved. How did she react when you found out what was really going on? Oh, she tries to uh, <clears throat> she tries to blame it on me. She tries to say that uh, it was my fault <clears throat> because I wasn't treating her right. It's like, dude, it's like uh, you know, I, I I I did her a favor and let her stay in the country. You know what I mean? It's like, what do you mean I'm not treating her right? It's like, I mean, I, I did everything I could for her, you know, and I always helped her out, always. Uh, helped out her parents, you know, I mean, it, you know, I did what I could. I'm a, I'm a, I like to think I'm a decent guy, you know. What country was she from? Thailand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, they're a strange breed, man, women, you know. Well, because when you start caring about them, this is what happens. That is exactly right. The I person mean, with the other hand is the one who cares less. That is exactly right. The so, trick is you have to be the one who cares less next time. What's that? You have to be the one who cares less. I, I don't think there's going to be a next time. Now I've just been living the single life, and I've just been with different women, and, you know, as soon as I'm done i don't call them i, I do what you do I, I find my pants i put on my pants leave, you know <laughs> i think that's that's the only way to do it at this point well i'm glad to hear that daniel i thank you for the call it's 1-800-5800 tom are you with a woman who has destroyed your soul peter on the tom like his show hello peter hi hi uh i guess i gotta tell a story huh um, I've been married. I had children before, uh, prior, before my second marriage. And when I got married, I thought, oh, well, hey, the first one I screwed up, bad on me. All right. Well, I guess I'm in love this time. Let's, this is, this is going to make it work. I ended up being the referee, the middleman between two warring parties. Uh, and it, it's like, it's like being a, it's like being being a referee in a paintball game. Uh, yeah, you, you're gonna tell uh, each one that you know you can't do this, you can do this, you're out of the game, whatever. But the referee in the paintball paintball game gets lit up just as bad as every player there, and sometimes even worse because you got both sides. Who are these people? Uh, well, they were um, well, they are uh, my children and my ex-wife. How did your ex-wife destroy your soul? Well, no matter what, I know I love being a dad. Uh, just like the gentleman before me, he says, you know, like, I don't think I can ever get with another woman. Uh, women are only good for one thing, uh, stuff like that. Every single uh, evil, mean, cranky, pissed off feeling and emotion and words I can possibly come up with. Uh, expressed and uh, is easily expressed and, and easily can come across due to the fact of how I was treated and how I, um, I feel I feel tortured basically about the whole concept. I mean, here I am. I think I fell in love with someone. I I, I uh, invite them to become part of my family, and so we can become a family as ourselves. And the whole entire time, I'm worrying of the fact that they don't even want to be a part. Uh, they they will uh, fight and moan and groan the fact that if you're in a relationship that already has a relationship going on, there are rules, obviously. So you're going to have to deal with those rules there. Now, they can be adjusted, but you can't sit back and rearrange and change everything that's already working. It's like, it's like going to a bank and saying, you know, I really don't like the way you do your banking. I want you to change the way you bank just for me. And... I, I it's it's very hard for me to look at another woman and say you know okay maybe there's a possibility that I might be able to be uh, a full time a, 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 a true family because I've got I, I don't want to deal with uh, them again you know what I mean well if your soul is destroyed why would you want anything to do with them. Because I'm a guy. <laughs> what does that uh, mean? I, I, I like women, and 
it's it's in, it's not it's like it's like okay when the guy the guy before me said that um uh he don't he doesn't think he'll ever fall in love again uh, he doesn't really want to he thinks it's over and done with i care to differ to the fact that there's something built within our system that eventually even if you play the field long enough if you're going to find someone that you like and just by finding the fact that you like this person you're going to you're going to give yourself you're going to give up that 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 control that you have well you have to you have to you get like them. well guess what peter you have to unlearn that Man, that was beat into you by time. But when Avenue came, the fact that was beat into. What do you think? Well, but, but to once, apple? forget that. You know, one, you once someone has like destroyed her. your soul, it's time to rise from the ashes and become the a hole that you can be. Yeah, well, anybody can be an a hole. Yeah, but guess what? But, anybody can breathe in and out too. We all do it. Oh well, yeah. Being but, an a hole protects you. But it can, but just like castle walls protect a castle, well, they leave all. They also keep other things that are good from coming in. Like what? I mean, if, I, I know there's got to be women out there that are that are caring, are nurturing. Great, are, there's got to be a needle. Awesome. There's got to be a needle in a haystack. So yeah, why don't you so spend where your, are they? Why don't you exactly. spend this exactly. summer? I'm going to give you a big haystack. Let's stick a needle in it. How about you come over here and start digging? I think that's what every guy on this planet has been trying to do since day one. Well, they're stupid. They're stupid because they're, these women are few and far between. You are better off pumping and dumping. Pumping and dumping. Yes. Well, it sound, you know, that sounds like your uh, MySpace theory. In what way? Well, okay. To me, um, it's like my, the, the, my, MySpace, yeah. Every, I, I don't have a MySpace page, uh, but um, my, my kids do, and I, I watch that very carefully so they don't get a bunch of crap on it. But uh, uh, any, any idiot can, can jump on MySpace. But if I want someone to talk to me, they talk to me through my email. And only the idiots that I want to talk to me are the ones that talk to me through the email. And so I have total control. But if I want to look for Neil in the haystack, that's like the whole MySpace and dating. It has nothing to do with that. You got TV crap. What are you talking about? You don't have no control. Now, pal, you have total control once you realize that you don't give a rat's ass about any of these females. They are sperm depositories. <laughs> but what? But what if you're looking? You think that's funny? <laughs> yeah. Why? Man, if my mom knew that you were talking about sperm depositories, I'd be. I'd be in, tr uh, in trouble on Thanksgiving. So this is all about your mom. This is all about the way you were raised. You see, that's what this is all about. You are bound by the way you were raised. Well, I was raised to hold the door open, you know? Yeah, well, how's that working for you? How'd that work out for you? Well, I get a good ladder to my hold the door open for somebody. Yeah, uh, how's, that, uh, how's your love life there, Peter, Mr. Door Holder? Uh, well, I'm two down... I don't want a third problem. I'm two X Ys down. I don't want a third problem. So uh, it's time to stop holding the door open. It's time to stop with the chivalry. Hmm. Now, okay, all right. How about this? Give me an exact good reason why. So that you don't get hurt. But pain's part of life. Pal, the, the, the I mean, I'm granted, I understand that. Wait, so a whole here, bunch of pain, I'll tell you what. A whole bunch of pain is not deserved by anybody. All right, I'll tell you what. I got a hammer. I'm going to hit you over the head with it. Oh, wait, wait, you, wait, 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 wait. You, you're going to tell me, you're going to tell me to stop. I'm going to say, well, pain is a part of life. I'm going to do it again, and then I do it again. But that's a whole bunch of pain. I'd say a whole what, bunch of pain. You think relationships no aren't a whole bunch of pain? You think what you went through isn't a bunch of pain? Oh, I'm, no. What I went through, they... Um, heck of a lot of pain. Well, and you want more of it, don't you? Because it's part of life. No, I, I, I want, I, I wouldn't mind having the, the little pain, you know, but not that kind of pain. Well, no guess way. what? That's this is mostly what people are getting these days. Hmm. 
You know, but I run into a lot of people who've been married and happy for 50 years. Guess what? That's because they got married 50 years ago, which you can't. <laughs> well, it's true. Times have changed. Hmm. So, okay, all right. If, t if times have changed, and then, so we, we now have to deal with the fact that idiots now rule, rule the world. What's going to happen to the future if all we have now are the idiots? I mean, well, first of all, gonna, our problem is not worrying idiots. about the future of the world. Our problem is worrying about ourselves. Yeah, but if we keep worrying about ourselves, there isn't going to be a future of the world. Well, how are you helping the future of the world by, by being uh, crapped on by women? I don't know how that. I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, well, because there's no good answer to that. You're not helping the world, and you're not doing this to help the world either. Uh, you're doing it because you're a sap. You were raised to be a sap. I was raised to be a good dad. Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> we're not talking about your 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 parenting skills. We're talking well, about. I, I got that, but but see. As being single and having full custody of all my children, it's, it's, I guess it's tough to be both mom and dad. Well, so what? Well, yeah, so what? You're right. So that means you should go through more pain? No, I hate seeing their faces cry. Yeah, well, guess what? That's where you're heading. Hang on a second here, Peter. Mike, what did you want to say to Peter? Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter, I think Tom ought to give you a couple whacks on the head with a hammer for all of us, man. You sound like a dope sometimes, bro. Tom, you didn't ask him the right question, man. You never asked me if he, if he was raised by his mother yet. It's a good question. I suspect he was. Were you, Peter? Uh, my The first uh, nine, ten years of my life, my mother and my father, then they got divorced, and I raised my, nine, my eight brothers and sisters. There we go. Myself. That's why you're a pussy. Exactly, Tom. Ask him when the last time. A long time ago. Uh, no, that's not a problem, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Anyways, Tom, when you swing at this guy, hit him a couple times for the rest of us. Our way. Hey, pal, 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 pal. We can't, we can't use that word on the air in that context. We can't. Uh, but uh, let me get Matt on here. Matt, what did you want to say to Peter? Hello. Peter, I just want to know how you think you're supposed to rise from the ash like a phoenix and then go back into the same crap that you uh, have previously been in. What good does that, I mean, do you not learn anything? or? No, no, I learned. I just don't want to have, I, I want to, after you, it's like, like, like what Tom said, you know, after you hit, hit your uh, hand with a hammer, you learn not to put your hand there, but you still have to get the job done. You still have to hammer that, that nail into the board. You just learn to keep your hand out of the way. How do I? Yeah, but what you get your hand hurt by getting married do? and getting wrapped up with women that are insane. Hump them and dump them, man. You know, how many times in your life did you thought you fell in love? Twice. And what had happened? Um, well, the last time I was actually living with the girl, and then uh, she moved out and had been seeing somebody else. Okay. And it was in my house, and I was a chump, man. Chump. See, don't you crave for that small moment when the whole world seems cool? Because all of a sudden you have someone else that yep. also feels like the whole world seems cool. But at I'm the same, confident same time. in myself now. I have self esteem, and I don't need another person to be dependent oh, on my cool I, I have self-esteem, and that's not a problem. Well, I mean, wh why do you need somebody else to have your cool moment? That's, I mean, you have kids. I can understand if kids would be involved in your cool moment or whatever, but... Yeah, uh, that, just that's the biggest... I mean, it's the biggest issue. I mean, when, when you've got, when you've got, a, uh, when you've got a, a five-year-old that's crying and saying, you know, I wish I had a mom, and, you, and you're looking at him and it's like, you know, I raised you my, my, your whole entire life, your mom as well. Yeah, She's your I, mom. I, mean, I can see that. My I dad can't say anything bad mother. about it. I can't say anything bad about it in front of his face. I would. I would get him to learn. Oh like, no! As quick Come as on. possible. Hey, if, if would you would you want you would you want your mom? If someone were to come to you and, and tell you every single bad thing they possibly could about your mother to your face, it's a How would that make you grow up and feel? But, um, I wouldn't care personally. And there's a lot of people out there that would.
definitely say the opposite. Well, I would agree with you, but, I mean, uh, you know, personally, no, I will, it wouldn't bother me. And, you know, and I love my kids when they smile and they, and they cheer. And they, sometimes you get back to it's like, and the only moment you have in your life is when you sit there and you go, I'm alone. Yeah, man. Wait, how many being kids alone you sometimes sucks. How many kids did you have? I didn't catch that. I got five. Five. Wow, bro. That's a handful. I just yeah. uh, want to get wrapped up with another lady. I mean, personally, I would just date them. That's what you're going to do. But getting married would not be beneficial to you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Especially I in think, the long run. I don't think a woman's going to want to grab a guy with five kids. Anyway. Well, hey, that's all the better for you because it doesn't <laughs> seem like you're thinking clear right now. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. Can you manipulate me into bed? I don't have to. I just whip out my wallet. I thought you don't pay for anything. Oh, I wouldn't give you any money. I just show it to you. Oh, you just show it to me. I wouldn't give you a penny. The Tom Likas Show. Show. It's not like his show. Are you with someone who has destroyed your soul? Do tell. Marley. On the Tom Likas show. Hello. Well, I never thought I'd be ringing into your show to, to, to start off. And I'm, I'm not even sure I can hold my own with you because you, you kind of hoodwink members of people. But I, mm. I think it's a terrible topic you have. Um, are you with somebody who destroyed your life? You know, too many people in society nowadays just blame everyone else for their own problems. Nobody takes onus or responsibility for what's going on in their own lives, and it's easy to... Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com. Point the finger. And, you know, that's all What does that have to do with whether this is a good topic or not? Well, do what? I said, what does this have to do with whether this is a good topic or not? That was just on. He's probably the most decent lad that I've ever heard. And that's why he gets show. stepped on by bitches like you. You, you don't know me. You can't say that. I can you tell by your attitude right out of the you box you're a bitch. I, I, don't, I don't even date because I make my life about my children. So this isn't about me dating or having a man or not having a man or anything. I'm just so sick of fellas like you that it's so easy for you to put down other people to build yourself up. I don't have to build myself up. I'm already a big deal. I don't need to be built up by putting you're others down. Big deal, Tom. Of course I am. No, you're a slob in my eyes. The well, I, I don't. Your, your eyes don't really know. count here. I look at my bank account and I'll see what kind of a big man but I am. Money doesn't make a man. Oh dear, That's yes it does. No, Sorry about that, darling. I don't like country you come from, but in this country, money makes a big difference. Listen, you're probably going to hang up on me anyways because you never like to hear the truth. But oh yeah, like like, you like you're telling the truth. Yeah, the, this has got to be the truth because you're saying it, right? No, but I'm not the only one that's saying it. But listen, the likes of you that can't face your shortcomings, you're pissed off at the world, and it's so easy to... Dear, I am, not, uh, dear I am not pissed off at the world. You so clearly you are not a regular listener, because I, now am I not pissed off at the world. So it's easy for you Darling, to I don't, need a, I don't need to find a lady. I find a different lady any time I need one, and then I kick him out the door. Look, that's not meaningful. You have nothing meaningful. I don't really care. It doesn't have to mean anything. It doesn't have to have any meaning. But you call women just sperm depositories? No. Well, that... You're just a slob. Well, you, well, that's certainly what you are, aren't you? No, you are. So you're not? Well, how did you have children if you're not a sperm depository? Look, I had children because I wanted them in their gifts. Well, and, and because you were, and the way you had them was you were a sperm depository. Better. But the fact is, you're a sperm depository. You may not like the way I say it, but you are definitely a sperm depository. No, you are incorrect. I welcomed my children into my life. It doesn't mean you I aren't a sperm depository. 
I'm not a sperm depository. Someone had to I deposit sperm into you in order to get children. pregnant. I chose to I, 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 Or are you calling from the Roman Catholic Church? Are you the Virgin I Mary calling Roman in? Catholic. I that's said, got nothing to do with it. I well, the only the only one who ever got the only one who had an immaculate conception was from the Catholic you don't Church. Have here, children, do you? Uh, by design, darling. Yeah, you are going to be a sad, lonely man one day. Well, uh, people love to say that, dear. You're not the first. But you know well, what? When you're a multi-billionaire, you're never alone. Never. With a child, and to see things through children's eyes. Dear, I uh, I have children in my life. I don't need to have one. I have a nephew who's six and a half years old who's fantastic, and I've got a great relationship with him. But I didn't have to teach him how to wipe his ass. You see, I've got the best of all worlds. But listen, love, there's something meaningful in teaching a child how to wipe his ass. Well, if you really think so, then go ahead and uh, keep doing it. But I certainly am not going to be one of those people. You, you talked about money in your bank account. Do you not worry that women only sleep with you for your bloody money? I couldn't care less because they don't get any of the money, so it really doesn't matter. What purpose are you serving, Tom? Can you answer that? Because I really don't get you. What purpose am I? What purpose are you serving? Besides blathering on. Blathering on. That's very good. That's an Irish word. Well on you. Listen, I just wanted to say I am ringing in support of that fellow Pete. Is probably the first decent bloke I have heard in years. Oh, yes. Another doormat that you could crap upon. Yes, I know. No, no, that's not true. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. No, because he knows what's what's important in life. Yes, letting women like you crap all over him. That's what's important in life. That's right. Letting women like you wipe your feet on him like a welcome mat. Yeah, that's, that's what's important in life. Listen, the only lads you have ringing into your show are fellas who are uh, broadcasting their conquests. Oh, look what hole I got last night, and look at who can I throw a leg over tonight. Those, nobody wants to hear that. Uh, guess what? Uh, this is not a show for women. This it's is a, a show for comic. men. It's, 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 a a, of, it's a place where men try to make themselves feel better because they can't face their own shortcomings. So it's easy to Dear, we don't have shortcomings. We, 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 ta- we, we pump them and dump them is what we do on this program. We're very proud of it. Listen, I've said me peace. I think you are so disgusting. I really do. And the only reason you're on me radio is by accident after Frosty High. Why are you listening to such a disgusting show? You should just tune out immediately. Well, I usually do, but I heard you that... You usually do. Well, if you usually do, how do you know who calls this show if you usually don't listen? Because I was listening this morning. No, but I you said you usually work, don't listen. But you radio. usually don't listen, so how would you know who usually calls in if you usually don't listen? Oh, you know, I heard you say this to another woman, and you tried to... And it's the same thing. Founder. It's the same I mean, thing. Pe- another person who pretends that, that she's not a listener, but she you really is. So you listen all you, the time. You just put around you around. You listen around. all the time. All the time. You don't know how to have a proper conversation, because you... Dear, this is not NPR. Like to, this is not the BBC like here. You know what I'm saying? This is you America. Like, God like bless America. People, God bless that America. That's good radio. You know, if you don't like radio here, go back wherever you came from, darling, because in this country, this is how radio works. In this country. God, yes. you're a piece of work, Thomas. Listen, the, the best to you, love. Mind yourself. Uh, another, <laughs> another goddamn foreigner. Those goddamn foreigners. <laughs> oh, those foreigners coming in here and taking away jobs from American callers. Unbelievable. And, 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 how about all those morons? <laughs> All those morons want to keep the Mexicans out? Come on. There's a much bigger immigration problem than that. Holy cow. Ted, what did you want to say here? Ted? That's what I'm saying. What? You, if women are sperm repositories... Not repositories, dear. Depositories. Repository, depository. No, they're, well, they're, they're two it's different they're words. Look them up. Uh, dear, if you would ever... That- Dear, if you would ever read a dictionary, you would know the difference between okay, those two okay, words. Mr. But you won't. But know that if your opinion I'm Mr. Literate. In this call, I'll, I'll call, just call me... No, no, no. In, this call, in this call, just call me Mr. Literate, darling, because that's what I am. That's what you do. That's what you are, isn't it? You have no brain, 
and have no you break. have no purpose. Well, let's put it this way. I figured out I figured out how to make a seven figure income getting morons <laughs> and degenerates like you to call in here and talk to me for no yeah, compensation. Who's stupid here? Too, sure but you I'm do. I'm an actual good sure you do. person. Sure you if do. If you have a six year old nephew, God save him. Yes, I do, and I'm raising him right. God save him. I'm raising from you. him right. Because you know what? If you are emphasize what women are in your opinion of him, what is he, he going to grow up to? He's getting day? he's getting all the information he needs. Hopefully not from you, sir. Oh yes, he is. Oh no, yes, he is. If he is, because if he is, God save his, him. My, his his uncle Tom calls him on his cell phone all the time and talks to him personally. What do you do? I've got his Thank phone you. number right here. He's six nine. He's got a cell phone. And so so your nephew is gonna. Uh, I get information right to him. You have a fat bank account. I don't care why he admires. And skanks for women. And guess what? I hope he's gonna have his own little uh, his own little harem when he grows up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you ain't going to get a woman like me, but because Why I... Why would I want a woman like you with a big what? mouth? I'm not a bitch. With a big I'm mouth? Oh, listen to you. With a big mouth like you have? Are you kidding? Why you would have, I want a woman you like you? You believe it. Sicilian, baby. I'll Who wants it. that? Oh, please. Oh, and give I'm me a break. At mid forty, I'm still getting it. Oh, see, mid forties. There you go. Wait, you still you getting it, it from who? Twenty five years of marriage. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very nice. And you know what? Uh, I've never been referred to as a, a twice now, and I don't. I still don't understand the point of repeating yourself. Uh, because if you want to don't. devalue women by saying they're sperm depository, darling, I have no problem plan, telling you, you know, that by saying men in general, certain the I really, the I really program, don't care. I'm not. The, you know, if you want to tell people that all I'm good for is effing them, I, that's the reputation I want to burnish. I want to to, uh, to continue to to make sure that people understand that that is what I am. I go out there and I get laid. I get the hottest chicks. I don't give them I my money. That. I seriously well, doubt that. Well, people have seen me in hot, public. If they're hot on the outside. They're people on have the seen me. If they're doing pe you, people who've seen me in public know the truth. Come on, you gotta know that you ain't that good. <laughs> Darling, money, power, and fame does amazing things. Trust me, sir. I'm a millionaire. I know what money brings. Yes, yes, you're a millionaire. Sure you yes, are. I your am. husband's a millionaire. You got uh, your who name on his bank cares? account. It's money. That's how you do it. You got money by injection. <laughs> no, I got money by good investment. You got you got the Stromboli injected. That's how you got the money. No, but I got big balls, and I'm here to tell you that. I'll bet you do. I'll bet you do. I'll bet you do. When are you going to have the and operation you know and make it I permanent? I'm so sad for you, but I know this is all for, you know, the show, this, that, and the oh, other. Yes. There is no way on God's green earth that you can be uh, happy with yourself. Are you kidding? I'm to, to the again, the with, the, with the mouth. You can't use language like that on the air. Oh, I forgot. I mean, you understand, this is not my rule. This is the federal government we're talking about. Okay. This is a radio well, my show. My apologies for that, but no. You can't do you that. Gotta, you got to pull your head And out. if you had any intellect at all, you could speak without using obscenities. I've spoken to you for four and a half minutes now. I haven't used one I'm obscenity on you. It. I'm not. I'm just a sperm depository. Yes, you're a sperm depository, but there's nothing obscene about that. It's just a fact. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more than that. I'm much, much more than but that. But that is certainly one of the things you are. Uh, actually, no. I have a vagina. So you have no children. Sperm, but it's not a sperm. Well, doesn't depository. somebody deposit it in there? It's a freeway. Let's just call it that. It's a sperm. Are right, you a sperm freeway? Sperm freeway. I what? like that better. Where on the street is your the hollow tunnel? But that's beside the point. <laughs> You're a nut. You know what? I just found you today, and I've been laughing all day. There you go. You see, you'll continue listening. I'll continue listening only because you're a crack up. Yes. You can't and because of, and because of, be for real. No, you know why you'll keep listening? Because of that Dago answers the phone. That's why you're going to keep listening. <laughs> yeah, because I could cuss you out in my car when I'm driving home. Well, well, you, want, you, want to, you want to talk up, see, call that Dago Dino over there, uh, the screener. And the two of you can uh, curse an Italian at each other. It would be very exciting. Well, yeah, what, what's, what's in words? Nothing. What's in, what's in words? Well, um, for me, a seven-figure income. How about you? <laughs> Are you Jewish? I mean, all you're concerned about no, is I'm not. your income. No, I, I'm you not. You really think 
people I am can. not Jewish. And by the way, there's that little that little uh, little profiling there. That's great. Are you Jewish? You care so much about money. Yeah, it's the statistics, you know. It's, it's, it's a uh, statistic? You hate to stereotype, but it's present. Are you greasy? Do you have hairy underarms? Um, sometimes, yeah. Really? Yeah, Do you have hairy pits? What time of night? Just had to check. Tom at blowmeuptom.com is the email. The Tom Likas Show. Are you looking to start your own business? Millions of brothers have turned to eBay to escape the rat race. Become your own boss and get the Power Seller Research eBook. It's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide that explains how to start an eBay business. The website is PowerSellerResearch.com. Again, that's PowerSellerResearch.com.